Welcome, Todd. Howdy. Thank you so much for helping out tonight. Well, um, I always wanted to do this, but it's it's difficult because I can't read through this. Well, also, so, also that, and if you take that off, people will turn to stone. So you know, I I know my responsibility. It's it's I can't, I can't let people see this. I I know it's just too beautiful. I know. God damn. It's it's I feel for you, man. It's a grave task. Um, uh, it, it's difficult being this beautiful. You don't understand, Nash. You only have the beautiful hair, I know. which is quite beautiful. I know. It's sad. I don't. <laughs> so, shall we uh, dive into the nonsense tonight? And I, I once again, I do appreciate you filling in on short notice. <laughs> no problem, man. I've always wanted to be a part of this. I never got the chance. Oh, good lord, why would you want to? <laughs> this is an awful thing I do. I want to share your pain, Nash. You know, masochist or something, dude? Seriously. Yes. Ask Lindsay. Hi, Lindsay. <laughs> <laughs> and the fanficers rejoice. <laughs> All right, let's, uh... Let's get this started. Throw on the intro. Each week, Catherine goes out on the worldwide interwebs, finds all sorts of horrible stuff, brings it back here in a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And, of course, as is after every holiday, the holiday-specific awful comes pouring in. And, of course, it was Easter. So let's uh, let's get started in Macon, Georgia. Oh my. Okay. Let's. So apparently, and I don't really have a really good lead in for this. I'll just jump right into it. No Easter Bunny at Macon Central Park this year is the, is the headline. Um, for the first time in years, the Easter Bunny won't be paying a visit to Central City Park this year. Blah blah. Why not? The annual Easter egg hunt there is uh, isn't being held Saturday. Um, the city, the county commissioner Joe Allen, uh, coordinated the egg hunt. Said he canceled it because parents caused a situation in which some children got hurt. Although areas of the park were designated for different age groups, Allen said some p parents insisted on accompanying their children in the egg finding quest. Incidents occurred. He said when parents became violent in an attempt to get eggs for themselves or their children in past years one woman was injured and several children were quote trampled on now this is yeah. not <laughs> go ahead no like you know you hear about these things about you know furbies and tickle me Elmos and pokemon and like you know you know it, it's embarrassing but i kind of understand it like these are you know at a premium mm-hmm Mm -hmm. A kid's not going to do anything with an Easter egg. What are they going to do with it? No, they don't even do real eggs anymore. It's just a little piece of plastic with candy in it. I mean, for fuck's sake, you could go... What, the kid didn't get the candy? Go to the fucking Walmart, buy him some fucking candy, problem solved. Oh, what, what, what was the prize for this Easter egg hunt? Was it, you know, tuition to Duke? Yeah, I know. That would explain it, you know? Oh, God, my kid's gonna be paid for! Uh, let's see. <sighs> Apparently, um... The... the ch yeah, I, I just... No, there's there's no kind of special prize here. It's just... <laughs> just eggs. Just, just eggs. Figures. Just candy. You can, you can get them at the store. I know. You can get better eggs. You can cook your kids some eggs. Of course, on the other hand, and she's going to kill me for mentioning this, but um, have you ever seen Yeisho Otaku with candy? I have not. Don't get between her and her candy. She will She will take a limb. <laughs> no, she will. I hope. <laughs> Don't do it. She, she'll hurt you. I, I, when I, I, I've gotten her candy before. I've... What are you doing? Don't want me. 
Just, just go on. I've gotten her candy before, and I will just sort of offer it and back away, and just. <laughs> Are you taunting her right now somehow? What? You taunting her? I'm, with candy? I just have a bunch of bunch of candy here. <laughs> um but no, the Easter nonsense does not end there. Uh we go to Britain for Now, you're saying what's the worst they could find? It's just it's just a an egg. Well, um a kid in England, he found a completely Different kind of egg during an Easter egg hunt this uh, this this weekend. A British child hunting for Easter eggs finds hand grenade. Child on an Easter egg hunt organized by a preschool group in English Village stumbled upon an unexpected surprise: a hand grenade. The hunt was taking place in the field near the town of Holford, Somerset, on Saturday. Uh, the area was cordoned off, and a bomb disco- disposal squad destroyed the grenade in a controlled explosion. We were beginning to count up the eggs at the end of the hunt, and I saw a boy of three standing with an object. It was brown and about four inches. It looked like an Easter egg, but it was a hand grenade. Um. <laughs> no, 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 no. It makes perfect sense. You know, Santa Claus leaves gifts, unless you're bad. In which case, he leaves coal. And the Easter Bunny, when you're bad, leaves a grenade. <laughs> <laughs> There's a certain kind of sense to that, you know? Yeah. The, 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 the good kids get eggs. The bad kids get grenades. I personally, if I was that little boy, I would have been confused. What? I found the best one. I win. <laughs> It was a real grenade? It was a real grenade. Apparently it was a leftover from World War II, and he just happened to find it. Tiring. There is no, there is no way this is true, that a no. kid finds a real grenade on Easter. No. Stranger no. shit, dude. Stranger shit. This is a real paper. This is uh, from... Okay, well, it's foxnews.com. <laughs> But still, it's an AP. It's an AP pickup. So, so this grenade has been just sitting there, yeah, for like eighty goddamn years. Yeah, under this British bush. Where was it in Britain? Yes, there wasn't any fighting in England. No, there wasn't any hand-to-hand fighting, but there were troops on the ground. At least British troops on the ground. So, so some so some British officer just like. Oh, whoops. Whoop. And just left it under a bush for 80 years? You, you, you cares. You gotta keep better track of your art- artillery. No one will ever find this here. <laughs> no, I, I don't even get that. I'm just happy just... no one blew up, is what I'm saying. Do grenades even work after 80 years or 70 years or however? Yeah, they do. Not, Not always, always, but they do. <laughs> so, but. This is good candy. <laughs> Sorry, go on. So, just to, uh, to, to. that That's the Easter egg hunt side of it. Um, just when you think there could be no topping. This sort of stuff. Um, England, once again. Have you ever ever seen those kids? All right, let me ask you personally. I hated the Easter Bunny in the mall when I was a kid. <laughs> oh, God, they're horribly creepy. They creep me the hell out. I just, I did not want to be there. It's just, because even Santa, there's, there's a level of creepy there. But the Easter Bunny, it's got these big dead eyes and this wide Ugh. rictus grin. Fake smile. Ugh. Well, um, not content with that level of creepy, uh, an Easter, a mall Easter bunny took it just that much further. Uh, this comes to us from England. Easter bunny arrested for drug possession after acting suspicious while entertaining children. The mall Easter bunny has been arrested after, uh, reported suspicious activity while on break. Bunny-suited Joshua Lee Bowling, 24, of Virginia. Oh, no, this is 
apparently the U.S., uh, was found in illegal possession of prescription narcotics while entertaining children at the Piedmont Mall in Danville. Bowling was escorted to a <laughs> private changing area during his arrest to escape view of children. Uh, employees within the mall contacted police after reports of the rabbit acting strange on his break on Friday. You have got to be acting fucking weird as hell in an Easter Bunny outfit for them to call the cops on you. Okay, um, I used to work not very far from Danville. <laughs> I've, had, I've had friends from Danville. This doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Danville is like a horrific wasteland. Like, if you, if, if, like, nuclear war happened tomorrow, Danville would look pretty much exactly the same. So, this, this is exactly what I expect from an Eastern Danville. I just, I just, I mean, what would, uh, what was he doing around the kids? Hey kids, you want Easter egg? You want Easter egg? I'll get you an Easter egg. You want Easter egg? You want Easter egg? I got Easter eggs. You want Easter eggs? You want fucking Easter egg? I'll get you a fucking Easter egg. You want Easter egg? You want Easter egg? You want fucking Easter egg? What doesn't he? I mean, you know, I, I, my parents didn't take me to like the Easter Bunny at the mall during Easter. What is an Easter Bunny expected to do? Just you know, have the same thing as a mall Santa? Just sit on their laps and. Humor them, yeah. Because like, what's the what is the drill there? Because with Santa, you go to Santa, you sit on his lap, you tell him what you yeah. want for Christmas, you move on. With the Easter egg, with Easter Bunny, what what are you supposed to? Well, I think everybody in this transaction is a little confused. The kids, it's like, hey, uh, Easter Bunny, yeah, uh, hi. <laughs> and and the, the Easter Bunny's like, yeah, hey, kid, I, what are we doing? I don't know. <laughs> I'm five. No. You tell me. If I was a mall Easter Bunny, I would probably have to be on drugs just to get through it. What is the point of my life? Where's the crack? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it's... You know, what did you want to happen when you took your kids to the Easter Bunny? Uh, probably not... A cocaine fueled rant. I'm hoping. And you know what? You know what, kids? Easter's bullshit. It's bullshit because you know what? It's a bunch of ancient fertility rituals that were transferred over to the fucking yo. Know, Christians took it over. It's bullshit, man. It's bullshit. Okay, Mr. was he was he hiding his drugs in the costume? <laughs> I, I I don't know. <laughs> There's plenty of room in there, for God's sake. I don't know. It's it's the perfect disguise. You know, you could smuggle all sorts of shit in the costume. So much room. I don't want to think about that. When I worked at McDonald's as a teenager, I had a guy who smuggled a ton of shit in his women's costume. <laughs> so it could happen, is all I'm saying. Well, um, let's go from costumes to none at all. Yes, it's, it's that time again on our show. Oh, good. It's it's naked crazy time. Um, this one comes to us from Indianapolis, Washington, and I've got to say this guy has got the best defense for this ever. Uh, naked man declares opposite day. A naked man. Of course he does. <laughs> a naked man in a public area told police he was nude for quote opposite day. Uh, several pe people reported seeing the man wandering Broad Ripple without clothing. Um, when at when police asked Leonard Federa why he was walking naked, he off walking naked. He offered a few responses. He said he wanted to be free and do what he wanted. According to the report, he also said that it was quote opposite day. Now you might think that's as good as it can get, but no, 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 it gets better. The, the officer's response, and I'm quoting here, I'm quoting the report, fine, in that case, you are not going to jail for public indecency. If it was opposite day, then he would have said, it's not opposite day. QED, bitch! Bitch! <laughs> 
Yeah, you got no rebuttal to that. You're not wrong! <laughs> I... Yeah, you're right. <laughs> no, no, I knew that when I was a kid. If it was opposite day, you say it's not opposite day, and everyone gets confused. And then, well, then you don't walk around naked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've never seen an opposite day when I was younger. Uh, I never, n never once on an opposite day occurrence did it ever, ever uh, pop into anyone's mind that, uh, yeah, if uh, the opposite of... <laughs> Dressed is naked, so makes sense. No. Oh. You know, the opposite of living is not living. No one ever does that one either, for obvious reasons. Oh God, don't say that. Someone will send you an opposite day suicide story and or send it to me, and I will just be horrified. That's not my fault. That's your fault for having this show. Man, you guys get mu music and movies and and <laughs> DVDs. I get this. <laughs> um, it's not my fault, Nash. You chose this for yourself. Uh, it chose it, me. <laughs> Man, I, I'm glad I'm not you. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the first time someone has said that to me. Uh, <laughs> It's Florida time. Oh, good. And, Florida um, time. You know, there are ways to teach kids about sex. This is not one of them. Um, Pinellas deputies from St. Petersburg, Florida. Kids at pediatric office witness couple having sex on lawn. A drunken couple having sex in the front lawn of an open pediatric office. It's charged Saturday night with disorderly <laughs> intoxication. Juliet Rufner Bender, aptly named, 39, and James Albert Mapstone, 45, appeared to be having sex while, quote, rolling around on the ground outside e evening pediatrics. Uh, children inside saw the canoodling couple. After a caller alerted the sheriff's office, both Bender and Mapstone were, the report states, cursing and causing a disturbance. Yeah, that'll do it. Go ahead. Could, could they have not have had sex outside of a dermatologist's office? Or somewhere where there wasn't kids? Maybe a dentist's office or something? Yeah! Of all the fuck... Okay, look. I understand there are fetishes. I get this. I can do nothing about it. People want their freak on. By all means, get it. However... Don't share. Don't <sighs> share. I, it's it's I, it's not cool to include other people against their will in your sex life. It's super not cool when they're children. <laughs> I know. Cause I, now, what's horrible is forever after. They they're, they're going to be associating going to the doctor's office. With people fucking, and a whole new fetish is born for these kids. I mean, we all do that, though. <laughs> right? Right? Oh, God. Just you, dude. <laughs> no. Just you. Just you, dude. Turn your head and cough. <laughs> oh. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, mommy, get the get the tongue depressor, mommy. Get the tongue depressor. <laughs> oh, we're going to hell. We're going to hell. Speaking well, of people going to hell, I've got a guy going straight to hell. You know, it's it's been a shitty economy right now, and people are out there desperate for work, desperate to have some sort of job, um, whatsoever of any kind. So, when you get called in for an interview, it's normally, you know, it's an event. It's, you know, it's like, oh, God, I could finally get a job. Yeah. This guy is definitely going straight to hell uh, from northern England. Um, cafe boss faces uh, jail after holding barista interviews with female applicants while naked. 
What? A coffee bar owner in Northern England tried to conduct face-to-face -face interviews with female job hunters while he was naked. Uh, David Richards was facing a jail sentence today after he admitted to inviting three female would-be baristas to Ryoko's coffee bar in the city of York and then greeted them in the nude. The 53-year-old sent text messages to two teenagers, age 15 and 16, teenagers, going to hell, and a woman in her 30s who were interested in a job and arranged to, quote, interview them on separate days. When each applicant knocked on the door to his office, Richard was naked. He told them he was in the middle of getting dressed, but then attempted to proceed with the job interview without any clothes on. All three shocked applicants fed, fled the premises and complained to police, who arrested him. Not only is that sexual harassment, it's like incompetent sexual harassment. Usually you do that when you're already the boss. <laughs> <laughs> like when they, they have something to lose. In this case, they can just go to the police without fear of any consequence whatsoever. You really are taking over for Tara tonight in that the here is how to be a better criminal sort of thing. It's how my lawn works. I can't help it. I, I just... It, this... Did it a douche! I, I can think of... These people are desperate for a job of any kind... And you use it as an opportunity to take out your penis, you are going to hell. Just. Can't you just flash people on chat roulette? Doesn't that do it for you? I know, right? Just, you know. Wait, no. What? No. <laughs> it's perfect. Flash people on chat roulette. It's the greatest idea ever. And actually, it's, it's, it's more economical. I guess, because you're getting more people for less work. So, hey, the Internet it's, fixes everything. I'm, I'm, I'm curious about the, the women who are, you know, like, whoa, he greeted me naked. But it was just, you know, just a mistake. Who greets people at the door for, the, for a, you know, a job interview naked? That doesn't happen ever. I'm trying to think of any instance where this is possible, and aside from some kind of whorehouse, no. That that would be the, you know... Actually, come to think of it, that's happened to me twice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I needed the money. I didn't care. Now we know why you wear the mask. <laughs> No, 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 because, no, hey, I know that guy from a porno, man. No, okay, let's stop there before we go down a, a road we do not want, we, we will not return from. <laughs> um, finally tonight, uh, there are often stories on the show that I think make us all a little bit glad to be ourselves. Because at the end of the day, we could be this guy. And, um, I will also point out that his name is the greatest, I don't know, I, I, this is, I can't tell what's irony anymore. Fucking Alanis Morissette, I can't tell what the true definition of irony is anymore. But his name, in context, is, oh my god, amazing. This is from Evansville. Evansville man accused of breaking into dog pen. Mm -hmm. It's going to get worse from here. An Evansville man is arrested for allegedly breaking into a dog pen. Evansville police say Noble Gray II, that's his name, was found half naked inside a dog pen at a home on First Street. Police told the dog's owner that Gray was trying to get her dog to lick his backside. Police say Gray had been drinking and is facing trespassing and public intoxication charges. Noble Gray. I, I could not have heard that properly. <laughs> so he broke into a dog pen. Yes. Like a kennel or a pound or something. Yes. To get a dog to lick his ass. Yes. 
Yes, he did. Yes, he did. So he... <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to now, my world. You know, I I hate to do this again, but like wouldn't it be easier to just buy a dog? <laughs> God. <Todd. laughs> I'm 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 sorry. <laughs> I I I'm, I'm a practical man. Oh god. It just seems like it would be easier to get a dog of your own and abuse it in the privacy of your own home. You know, just spread peanut butter. I don't the- think that's the I- issue here. I don't think it's a matter of convenience. It is to me. It should not be. What's wrong with you? What the fuck, man? <laughs> I, I uh, and just someone in the channel said for your information noble gray is an anagram of leggy boner I, I don't know <laughs> why that my god do you think his parents ever thought we shall name our child noble for that is what he shall be and 20 years later come on puppy lick my butt you know I for what end? Why would you need a dog to lick your butt? <laughs> uh, uh. <sighs> there's no good answer to that. There, there, there's no answer that's going to take us to, to any place happy or sane or safe. So... No, but, but well, it honestly bothers me more that he had to break into a, what is it, a dog pound or a kennel or what? Somebody else's place where they were keeping dogs. Had her dog in a, in a cage or something. Just... What did he expect would happen? I... <laughs> I don't know. I expect, you know, the right right setting, the right mood. A little music, serenade, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Dogs aren't that expensive. Just get your own dog. <laughs> don't. Do not encourage people to do that. No. I'm just no. saying. No. Don't say. Because you're not. Don't say. You're not helping. Not helping. And I think that's the first thing we learned tonight. Todd's not helping. <laughs> You asked me to be on this show. I did, but that no, no, You're gonna make me cry, man. That ain't cool. Um, I think we learned tonight that um, it's an Easter egg hunt. Um, if your kid doesn't get candy, don't start a stampede. Just buy your own candy. <laughs> Just people aren't. People aren't good at crime and horribleness. I would be good at it. I have prepared. You just gotta plan ahead. I'm scared scared. now. How much planning do you do? Oh. If someone ever puts out a contract on anyone I know, I am well ahead of the game. (laughs) Matter of fact... What did you eat today? Think about it. I love you, Nash. We learned that Todd is fucking creepy. (laughs) I'm not. I'm just a weird guy in a hoodie pulled over his head and a mask. Goddamn. Racist. Uh, We learned that Easter egg hunts while... They are supposed to be fun for children. Um, you, you can find all sorts of fun things out there in the woods if you're looking. Um, also, I think that kid should have won the Easter egg hunt, honestly. Because, <laughs> shit, top that. I got 12 eggs! I got a fucking grenade! I win! <laughs> no, you don't. That's not an egg. 
Wanna bet? Let's see if it hatches, shall we? <laughs> Try me. Kid's gonna have the best show and tell ever. Um, I think part of what we learned was not don't be on drugs as the Easter Bunny, but we don't understand the whole Easter Bunny child transaction to begin with. It's it's a bit of a mystery. That's true. I, I why does this happen? Although it wasn't Danville, so it I'm not Danville. sure why that got anyone arrested. Quite honestly. <laughs> yeah, it's like. Pfft. Easter Buddy's high, shit. Everyone's high. What is it, a Wednesday? Come on. <laughs> we have to deal with being in Danville in our own terms. Um, we've learned that Opposite Day... That you can't... J opposite Day is not a get-out-of-jail-free card. Um... <laughs> oh, it's Opposite Day here. You loved it, Nash. You know it. <laughs> I, I didn't have to be here. Yeah, yeah. That, and that's the other thing is, uh, keep your clothes on! Especially when, you know, job interviews are a good time to keep your clothes on, but in general! Um... We learned that, uh... You can be a little freaky with the one you love. Just, uh, don't share. It's not cool. Wait, which one was this? Is this the one about the dogs? No, the, well, okay, that too, yes. You, you, uh... you brought it up. I... You make me sad, man. You make me sad. Well, you make me sad. <laughs> Well, then everybody's sad! 